Hello, parents and little ones. Coming to you from Crossroads Evangelical Church, I am Audrey Fricke, Director of Children's Ministry. And I'm Shannon Saffel, and I am the Director for Wednesday Night's Children's Ministry. So you guys see me on Wednesdays. So today, since we can't see you on Sunday right now, we're going to do a Sunday School lesson with you guys right here so you can watch it with us from home. So I'm going to read the story. Um, this is about Jesus and his disciples, and it's from the New Testament, and we can learn some really cool things from it about our daily lives today, okay? So this is the story. Come, said Jesus, get into the boat. Let's go for a ride. Jesus got into the boat. Jesus' friends got into the boat. Splash, went the little waves. Splash, splash. Jesus' friends began to make the boat go. Pull, push, pull, push. But Jesus was tired. He lay down in the back of the boat and went to sleep. Now, while the boat was going, the wind started to blow. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. <laughs> it blew the men's hair. It blew their clothes. It blew the water. Woo! Soon, the little boat was rolling up and down, up and down. Then some water came into the boat. Splash, went the big waves. Splash, splash. Jesus' friends were wet, and they were afraid, too. Let's tell Jesus, they said. Save us, Lord. Wake up, wake up. Jesus opened his eyes. He saw the water splash. And he heard the wind blow. But he said, why are you afraid? I'm here. Then Jesus talked to the wind. He talked to the water. He said, shh, be still. And do you know what happened? The wind stopped. The water stopped splashing. They both got, to, got still, as still as could be. Jesus' friends looked around. Everything was quiet and safe. Who is Jesus, they said. Even the wind and the water do what he says. I know who Jesus is. Do you? Jesus made the wind. Jesus made the water. Jesus is God. So, from this story, we saw that Jesus' disciples, those guys that were his friends, they were really scared. And they were scared because of this big storm, and they were really afraid what was going to happen to them. And because they were afraid, they went and they woke Jesus up, right? Because he was napping in the back of the boat. And then when Jesus got up and he woke up, he wasn't even alarmed. He wasn't afraid at all. And all he had to do was spoke. He just said, be quiet. And all the wind and the rain and the waves, all of it just stopped. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. We can't, we can't stop anything with just yeah. our voice hardly. No. And Jesus stopped all the crazy weather. Yeah. So that teaches us that Jesus was completely in control, even over the weather outside mm -hmm. and big scary waves. And that helps us remember that God is in control of everything around mm -hmm. us, even still today, and all of our lives. Yeah. So we're going to ask you a few questions, and then you can talk about it with your kids about what we just talked about in the Bible story. So what happened to the men when they were in the boats? Hmm. And then what happened when it started to storm? 
Think about their feelings. And what did Jesus do? What does it tell us about Jesus that he can make rain stop and big waves stop? That's something you and I can't do. (laughs) Can we trust Jesus? And how should we trust Jesus since you know how strong he is? So after we learned about that story and we thought and talked Mm -hmm. about those questions, we can learn about our own lives, right? So uh, we want you guys to remember after you learn this lesson and Mm -hmm. as you go about and you do things in your day that in all things, everything that happens during the day, good or bad, because sometimes good things happen, sometimes Mm -hmm. bad things happen, but no matter what, we can trust God and trust Jesus to care for us. God is powerful and good, and he is in control of everything, and he loves you so much. So he takes care of everything for you because he loves you so much, and we can trust him too because he's so powerful, even in maybe some kind of scary or confusing times like right now. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I definitely agree. So let's close in prayer. Let's just Mm -hmm. say a little prayer together. Jesus, we just thank you, Lord, that you're with us in these times, no matter what, good or bad, and we know that you love us and we know that you care for us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your protection. In thy name I pray, amen.